What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down how to stop quarterback rollouts, specifically out of the trips tight end or the bunch tight end in Madden 21. Gonna give you a quick little tip to, to uh, take care of that. Some little simple defense that you can use to be able to still blitz this uh, kind of meta or this concept but also to be able to just simply contain the quarterback rollout. So we're gonna dive right in, but before we do that, I just wanna let you know that if you wanna get the exact defense that I recommend or that I run, you can get my 335 wide defense in the description. It's gonna show you all the blitzes, all the setups, everything that you need to know. And so we're gonna be going over a simple contained defense today, but if you wanna learn everything about this uh, incredible, incredible defense, about just user rushes, stopping the run, match defense, coverage concepts, all of those things, you can get all of that in the defensive guide for just 15 bucks. So that is, uh, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. But basically what we're going to do is you're gonna see here that we've put the Mike Blitz 3 in our audibles. The Mike Blitz 3 is probably the number one defensive play call that most players use. In our coaching adjustments, you're gonna see we're gonna put our flats on 30, our curl flats are gonna be set to 10 yards, and our hook curls are gonna be set to 10. Option defense is gonna be on conservative. Ball near defense, I like to play, put it on play receiver. And then auto alignment is going to be set to default. So it's going to be fa fairly straightforward as far as the coaching adjustments go. We've subbed in uh, safeties at linebacker across the board. So we're going to audible down to that from the 335 normal formation. Again, we go over why we do all of this and really detail uh, in our defensive guide. So if you want to get that, it's just 15 bucks, and it really does. Uh, walk you through how to have the best defense in the game. I've been running this defense for over a year now, and I'm just telling you right now, I have a very strong suspicion that this defense is still going to be very, very effective in Madden 22. Uh, so anyways, if you want to get a jump start on that, grab the defensive guide. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to audible down to Mike Blitz 3, and we'll, we're going to make a couple of adjustments right off the rip. What we're going to do is we are going to press, and then we're just going to click on to these linebackers just like this and just drag them out. From that point right there, all we're going to need to do is we're going to shift our defensive line uh, to the left. We're gonna QB contain the rush, and then you're gonna see that this is what it's gonna create. Now the reason that this is really powerful is because if someone wants to put a delay fade on the field, what they like to do is they like to double team. But you see here that they're only able to double team the guard, they're not able to double team the other guy. What that's gonna do is if I try to roll out, you're gonna see that it's gonna be an instant shed for the contain. The contain is actually gonna contain because they can't get that double team seal post up type block to be able to get out of the pocket. Let me show you the same concept from bunch tight end. It's gonna work for pretty much any rollout in the game. If you uh, are struggling against the rollout, I highly recommend this, um, this tactic. It's very simple, um, but it's very easy to add it in. The cool part about this is your blitzes and everything you're gonna be wanting to do from this formation is still actually gonna work really effectively. So um, you're gonna see here that I'm gonna go down to my blitz three, just like that. And then we're just going to drag these guys out and QB contain, that's it, literally it. Um, when we face bunch tight, bunch tight end, I typically like to do this gap shoot right here. And again, you take a look at the contain rush, you see it, this is what it looks like. So uh, offensively, I can't double team that outside guy. You see there, I can't do it, I can't get out there. So it's kind of a cue, honestly, to the offense as well, that if they can't, if that blitz, if that backer comes, they probably shouldn't roll out because the pass protection literally tells them. So you'll see right here, if I try to roll out, instant shed, instant sack every single time. So you're not gonna have to worry about the rollout if you use this tactic. Now the cool part about this is as you kind of go throughout a game, you can basically bluff, bluff it. So you can pull these guys out, put them in purples, um, and offensively, it's going to show them that you know you're only you're only rushing two. Now um, you see here that this still does put them in contain, especially on that right side. So I want to highlight that for just a moment. So you see here, I'm going to double team and I'm going to try to roll out. As you're going to see here, the contain is literally going to shoot in and completely get an instant sack. So that's another cool part of this uh, kind of strategy. It almost literally brings back the idea of a contain rush from this defense as you can see right there let me show you that um let me show you that in this direction as well so if i if i just again we're just going to put the backers in zones and then we're going to drop that defensive in off the left side and what you're going to see is we've got a nice qb contain um strategy here and again i can't double team the outside guy and you'll see here, it's just gonna kind of follow. Now, you are able to get out of the pocket if they make the block, but it's a lot harder, it's not super easy. And if they actually go by the cue of their pass protection, it's not gonna be something that they're gonna wanna do because they can't double team that outside linebacker. If that outside linebacker comes, 
then there's really no way for them to get out of the pocket. And so this is a simple little tactic that you can use to really mess with your opponent a little bit. If you send that blitz maybe two to three times a quarter, um, what's gonna happen, or two to three times a drive, what's gonna happen is they're gonna naturally be a little bit more hesitant to roll out. They're gonna stop rolling out. And the cool part about that is it's going to allow you to drop more people back into coverage. And so we show you all of the coverage concepts, all the blitzing concepts, in that nickel 335 wide defensive guide so if you have not picked up the defensive guide yet i really want to encourage you to do that it's really really good it's really really in depth it really does help you understand defense on a whole nother level level so i would encourage you to get it we actually just put a one hour match defense update into it as well so we go over really in detail how to actually run the cover four quarters match defense in combination with everything else that we've been doing from 335 wide throughout the course of the Madden 21 season. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get that, um, that nickel 335 wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description of this video.